Hey folks, this is Mike Lombardi, and I'm reaching out to you today from the bottom of the Saconet River in Portsmouth, Rhode Island, in close proximity to the Island Park community, which has been uh, a community of interest recently because there will be a submarine cable run from offshore at the South Coast Wind Farm running all the way up the Saconet River. Um, and touching, making landfall here in the vicinity of Island Park, raising some concern about the impacts to uh, the landside community where our friends and neighbors live, as well as the underwater community where my friends and neighbors live. <laughs> so, um, I wanted to raise some awareness of what goes on here underwater why it's important to consider. So what I'm hoping to do today is just talk a little bit about the marine environment here at the bottom of the Sakonet, which isn't the most glamorous place, as you can see around me. It's pretty muddy. Um, we do have a nice day today, lots of sun. The water's pretty clear. Um, but I will introduce you to a couple of local marine creatures. Uh, that, that most people don't know too much about, but they're a really important part of our fisheries here in the Ocean State, Rhode Island. One of the concerns here in the Sakana is that the river bottom will be dredged up. And whenever we have dredging take place, of course it creates a lot of fine silt. So here's a this is what the bottom of the river looks like. It's very silty. And um, that silt can cause problems for marine life of various types. And of course, we've been dredging inshore waters for decades to support various industrial projects, to keep our ports and harbors deep enough for big ships, to bury cables, and so on. Here in the Sakonet River, we have healthy populations of shellfish. This is a commercially important fishery for the state of Rhode Island. It really anchors a blue economy. So the hard shell clam, or quahog, you might say is our, uh, our state shellfish responsible for millions of dollars in revenue for the state annually. We have very healthy populations throughout the Sakana River. One of the concerns with dredging is the creation of silt. You can see the sediment's fairly fine and easy clouds up with a slight disturbance. That's a concern for animals like the quahog because these animals filter feed, which means they live in the bottom and they extend the neck and they'll siphon food out of the water. But what we don't want them to do is siphon in large amounts of sediment because they can choke out and die. So when we consider future impacts to the Sakonet River, uh, it's important to consider how far, uh, you know, how far reaching the activity will be. Things like the clam are largely out of sight and out of mind. Not many people will give this a second thought. So we need to be mindful of destructive activities from offshore industrialization. And it's really up to us to limit our impacts on animals like this. It may not seem like much, just a clam, but it's an important clam. This clam anchors our blue economy here in the ocean state. And any impacts to it ultimately impact us. So if you want to save the bay, it all starts here at the bottom. 